Gary G with the Inland Valley News covering the Los Angeles Rams versus the San Francisco 49ers. Stay tuned for details to follow. Talk about your being the head coach. What does it feel like being in this head position? Uh, you know, I love it. It's unique just based on the situation. But, you know, but it's, it's tough to know what to say at this point in the season, like after the game. You know, how do you send a message to the guys that either inspires them or pisses them off? Um, so it's, you know, the last week and a half or whatever it's been, it's been a great experience for me. Um, I hope someday they get the opportunity to do it. I know from a special teams coach's perspective, it's a, it's a, it's a long route. So um, I wish we'd have won today because, you know, it's an opportunity as an interim coach to win your first game. And we lost it. But it's not about me, but it, it's a great experience being a head a head coach and, but it's tough to stand up here and say damn we, we should have won the game but we didn't get enough first downs on offense and I think that catches up to your defense in the last six minutes of the game which I think is almost just like the situation against Miami about six minutes left in the game you know we got the ball inside the 50 and we got a two score lead and we couldn't make the first down and then they start making chunks and they convert into touchdowns and um you know, let's face it, it comes down to a two-point conversion. You know, we stop them, we're an enhanced team, we get the ball and it's over. And, you know, they get a two-point conversion, take a one-score lead, and we return the kick to the 40-yard line, 25 or so seconds left in the game. We got three timeouts. We only needed 15 yards minimum, and we throw the interception, so. Wayne Jared, you believe the touchdown pass to Higby, even though you guys have been through that with my effort. Were you feeling pretty good about things at that point? Yeah, I even looked at the scoreboard and said, we got a two-score lead, our defense is playing good, got a little momentum, it's going to touchdown, let's finish it. You know, we, we, we kept life in them at the end of the game by not getting a couple extra first downs and burning more minutes or burning their timeouts. And they scored two touchdowns and it flips quick. Coach, as, as Johnny's special teams coach, last season, what, what, what are your thoughts on his record-breaking performance for the Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> as hard as it is, there's positive that come out of the game. You know, Johnny's had, I think, a historic season punting the football with his inside the 20 numbers, you know, his, his net average, which is a reflection of also his punt cover team. Kenny Britt goes over 1,000 yards for the first time, I think, since 2007 as a Ram. But I'm proud of Johnny. He comes every day, he's a leader, he's tough, he's good. And the guys respect him and I love him and I'm proud of him. And I wish we could have got a W to make it a little bit sweeter for Christmas tomorrow. How difficult is, how difficult is it to contain uh, Colin when he's near the goal line because he's elusive in that he can run or pass? Yeah, he's tough, especially when he's running in space and he's pumping the football. You know, you don't know whether to jump and deflect it or run through and tackle, or maybe you have to leave coverage to go tackle him, and then he throws the pass to an open guy, so he's tough. You know, we've, it's been the same. We've played him now, you know, in our era as coaches, you know, 10 times, and he's, he's tough to tackle in space, especially when he gets out of the side of the pocket. You know, what do you do? Do you board cover and tackle him, or do you sit and cover and let him run? Or, you know, when you go make a tackle, he's tough to get down. So we made a great play, and... You beat us to the goal line by a yard, and that's a game of inches we lost. John, that, that's not a defense that has performed very well this season. Why do you feel like you guys weren't able to move the ball very much against them? It's a good question. You know, you look at San Francisco, they've been struggling on defense. We've been struggling on offense. So struggling defense, you know, was, was better than a struggling offense today. I also look at the tape to know exactly why, but, you know, Todd, you know, we made a big emphasis on running the football. I think he averaged, you know, 2.9 a carry. Just not good enough. You know, we tried to tinker a little bit with the lineup just to get a spark, try to find something, and it just wasn't there.